Casão. My name is Vernon. And my journey started November 18, 2016, when I came home to find that my 27-year-old son had killed his mother, his 10-year-old sister, and himself. And this journey began with me because everything before then was nothing became blank, became a blur. On that day, I looked to heaven and God showed it to me. Um, I'm always here and I'll always be there for you. The next thing I asked him, what am I supposed to learn from this? And he said to me, you cannot tell people to trust the God that you don't trust and that you will win more people for Christ by your walk than by your talk. So show them how to trust me by trust, keeping your hand in my hand and following me. The next thing he did was giving me an answer for each person. And the first thing he did was tell me about my son because I wondered how could he do this. And God said to me, if you are sick and you have a sickness in your body, <clears throat> say cancer and you're saved and you die, where do you go? And I say, well, Lord, you go to heaven. He said, okay, good answer. He said, so if you're sick, and you're saved and you have a sickness in your mind. Where do you go? I say, well, you go to heaven. He say, well, why are you wondering where he is? I say, okay. For my wife, he said, the devil was going around seeking who he may devour. And he went, and God said, have you considered my servant Job? He said, well, God, I can't touch Job because you got your hand on him. He said, no, you can touch Job, but you can't go where I am. And he said to me, there's a place in you where I am. And anytime you want to see your wife, go to that place. Because the scripture says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And so when I wanted to see my wife, I just go to that place. Some people call it a spirit. Some people call it a soul. And when you go to that place, I call it in. When you go in, I see her smiling. I can see her happiness. And it brings joy to me and it makes me smile because I can see her happy now in a, in a beautiful place. And I tease her, I say, you coming back? And she says, no, you can't get me to come back. <laughs> And for my 10-year-old daughter, he simply said this. He said, angels are only here for a season. But when their work is done, God calls them back home. And I said, Lord, I just pray that their next assignment is watching over me. And so I gained strength from these, these insights that God gave me for them. And if you're searching, if you're trying to find, just go in and it's there. It's, they still love you. They're still there. They're still reaching out to you. They're still covering you. You just got a few more angels watching over you as you go through your journey.